Sustained growth in coronavirus positive hospitalizations has Los Angeles County on the brink of a new public indoor mask mandate, a move officials say could help curb still widespread transmission, but it has raised some concerns among business groups and sparked questions about its necessity. Though the count remains well below the peaks of earlier surges, hospitalizations have swelled. In LA County, 1, 299 coronavirus positive patients were hospitalized as of Monday, up 60% since the start of the month. The story is much the same in intensive care units, where the latest daily census, 137, is far below the highs of previous waves but has increased almost 51% since July 1st. Although they're not as high as during the peak of previous waves, the current number of coronavirus positive patients in ICUs is roughly the same as when L County last implemented an indoor mask mandate, on July 17, 2021. On that date, there were 134 coronavirus positive patients in intensive care units. Deaths have dramatically increased, too, but still remain far below the last wave. Over the last month, weekly COVID-19 death rates in L County have roughly doubled. The decision L County public health officials have had to grapple with is whether to implement a mask mandate, and at what point to do so. There are a significant number of people who have become infected but are not falling severely ill and ICUs are less crowded than in previous waves. The availability of vaccines and treatments and changes with the virus itself are also helping. But the soaring rate of both cases and coronavirus-positive hospitalizations is worrying local public health officials. In parts of California, infections may have reached levels higher than the initial Omicron wave, based on data emerging from coronavirus levels in wastewater. In Los Angeles County, some emergency rooms and community clinics are growing increasingly strapped, the number of nursing homes seeing significant outbreaks have dramatically increased and more workplaces are seeing clusters of cases. And L County health officials are quite concerned about the notable increase in weekly deaths, a pattern that has not been seen in other parts of the state.